Today I'm trying to break 75 on a course I don't know, which is never easy. One of these days I'm going to properly warm up before one of these rounds, but not today and that was probably why this three wood came out kind of right, kind of thin. From there it left me an eight iron, a good distance into the green. I wasn't trying to do too much with this, but it's just missed on the right and left a delicate chip. The chips got in there fairly close and it's given me an opening look at par. Not to be, and a little bit of a nervous start today. One over through one. The second at Twin Creeks looks to be a well bunkered par three, but it's not overly long. So it's a solid nine iron distance for me and after pushing the first hole, I've just pulled this a little bit. This is a good chip though and after that nervous start, it's nice to get one in there close, get away with a par and start to feel like I'm getting the round underway. As a fader of the golf ball, the trees on the right stand out on this hole. So I've just tried my best to draw this three wood up into play. That's given me a nice wedge into the green and this one should really be getting close, but for some reason I've still got those early round jitters. Either way, it leaves me this putt for birdie. Happy to take that. Back to level par. According to the card, the fourth is the second hardest hole on the course. But I think this is one of those cases where not having played the course before made it easier for me. I've got a good drive up into play and then I've really flushed this nine iron. I was waiting in the air expecting this to go close to the pin but it's actually gone over the back of the green. From there it's not the easiest of chips but I've gone for the 54 degree wedge and judged this one pretty well to give myself a look at par. The fifth is the first par five on the course and although there's a lot of bunkers up there they're not quite in a problem area for me. According to the GPS I can carry them and that's what I've done with the drive. That's left me a three wood that I've kind of gone under a little bit and when this is in the air I'm a bit nervous about a creek that I can see but it's carried that and left me a good wedge into the green. I'd like to have got this a bit closer but it's on the green with a look at birdie. Taking that and getting to one under for the day. Six is a great looking par three and a really good six iron distance for me. So there's nothing too difficult about this shot. I'm just trying to play a pretty standard six iron. I've got it up there onto the green and I'm hoping to get a two putt to get away. The first putts come up a bit short. The second one finds the hole. This is a Greg Norman design course. You get used to seeing a lot of bunkers. And the seventh hole, there are bunkers in play off the tee, but they didn't seem to be in my way. And I've hit a good drive. Sadly, that's just a straight out thin with the wedge through the green into the trees. All I'm trying to do on this chip is really get a good contact, not stab it. And I've played that nicely, left it under the hole. I pride myself in up and downs, so I'd have liked to have got that up to the hole. It's a real shame. That would have been a great up and down. Back to level par though. The eighth is the hardest hole on the course and it's just a long par four. My drive is okay, up the right, not my best, but it's left me a look anyway at the green. From there I'm trying to play five wood, but I've caught it a bit thin. I'm not particularly hitting my fairway woods well today. This one's over the back of the green behind a bunker and sloping away from me. So the chip's average, but it's left me a putt for par. This one close, but it's not getting it done. That's back to back bogeys and I'm not feeling great at this point. Coming off the bogeys, I don't mind that it's a par five, but it's a pretty long one at 578 yards and there's bunkers everywhere. The tee shot gets me away well at 275 and just off the edge of the fairway. There's no way I'm getting to the green from 300 yards and I'm trying to miss some fairway bunkers. So I've played that iron and left myself a good wedge. But again, I'm not feeling my best in this point in the round and this has come up right on the front of the green, leaving me a lot of work to do with the putter. This first putt is the length of the green. I've not got the pace of the greens yet and so I've left myself a lot of work to do. This one for par. Not to be, and that's three bogeys in a row. Two over and I'm starting to wonder where my round is going. This is a big reset point for me. I know I'm playing well with the driver, I'm getting it in play, but the fairway woods are a no-go. So I'm going from here, I'm going to leave those in the bag and go for the irons and just try and settle on my shots a bit better. 
Saying that, I'm then pleased to get this good drive away over some fairway bunkers and into prime position to go at this green. Leaves me a pitching wedge, which is good in the air. It gets up close to the hole and then it just spins a little bit back from the pin. But again, left me a birdie putt. I'm trying to figure out the pace of these greens. That's gone past a little bit, but it's left me that for par. And I'm now really trying to talk myself into this back nine. The 11th to par five with a straightforward tee shot. So again, sticking with driver because I feel okay with that and I've got this one into play. From there, I'm walking up the fairway and I see that a bird stole my ball. So I've dropped it here and there's a pond on the left. And again, no fairway woods on this back nine. So I've put that five iron up into play on the right to leave myself this wedge into the green. Still not quite settled on that one. Just tugged this one away to the left a little bit but it's not far from pin high and I don't mind this as a wedge. The 54 degree is caught and stopped quite quick on there, but par is no damage done. Walking onto 12 and it's close to drivable at 285. There's some fairway bunkers, which I've gone over and I've just gone for the right hand side of the green to leave myself this good looking wedge in. From there, it's about 40 yards and I've got the 54 degree in, it's bitten nicely and it stopped. This is giving me a really good look at birdie. Third birdie of the day gets me back to one over. This course holds a lot of tour events in Australia. So although it never really gives you too many easy holes, it does give you a bit of room to play with. And this driver's up there in the fairway. The wedge, I'm still getting used to these irons a little bit. It's a bit bottomy and a bit pushed. So it's just missed on the right. But there's no real issues there. I've got some space to work with with the 54 degree. It's just a bit of a bump and run. Gets me pin high anyway. 14 looks like another great par three. 191 to the front pin. Raised green bunkers everywhere. I've gone for a solid five iron and hit that nicely. I think it do a bit of a bounce when it landed. So it's got to the back of the green. And from here, it's quite downhill. That big ridge halfway through the green. So this putt after not having the best pace all day is a good one to get down there and keep grinding out this round. 15 is a par five that goes a few different directions. So it's driver up the chute. This one just getting to the top of the hill and from there still keeping the fairway woods in the bag. So played the four iron just up the right hand side to try and give myself what I think is a good look at this green. I found the rough, but from here it's nine iron distance and this one gets up there, pin high, to gonna give me another look at birdie. I'm really starting to feel like I've done a lot of hard work in this round. Could go either way. That one's not my best putt, but it's another par. 16 to 451 yard par four. Lots of water, there's a big water carry off the tee. So I've managed to get this one just down there into the fairway. And then this is shot of the day. I've had to go with a five wood. There's a pond all the way up the right hand side. There's that big tree out of bounds left. Couldn't really see a miss. So I've just gone at it and really played my first good fairway wood of the day to give myself that chance for birdie. So close, that would have been a great one. But it feels like a hole where a par is a good score. I've enjoyed the par threes today and 17th is no different. Really well bunkered, pond left, 152. Eight irons got down their pin high. Look at birdie. Oh, I wish that had gone in. This would have been a great point to get back to level par. But either way, good score and I've enjoyed the hole. Moving to 18, you can see why this is a championship final hole. You've got this shoot of trees to get down and then the pond starts on the left, which goes all the way up to the green. I hit that one better than the distance. I measured it a few times, but it is what it is. It's left me a five iron. There's a pond all left, bunkers all right. And this one's just gone between two of the bunkers to leave myself a wedge. I would have liked that one to have done better. It didn't grab at all. So it's run to the back of the green and left me this for a final par of the day. Not to be. But it's a 74 on a championship course that I don't know. Five bogeys, three birdies, and probably a better score than I would have thought at the halfway point.